I'm glad you're here for another exciting episode of Offstage Drop the Act. Mm -hmm. It sure is fun to wear a costume sometimes and act like someone you are not. Mm -hmm. But in mm -hmm. real life, Rachel, we have got to drop the act and live with integrity. That's hard sometimes, but... Yes, yes it is. And this can be fun, Yes, but we wear masks and hide behind those in not fun ways. So That's that very true. We want to, again, talk about this month's Life app. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. That is really good. It is about following God and being the real you wherever you are. Like it says in our memory verse for the month, pro from Proverbs, again, but I not know. the same Last verse. time, it's not 17, 17. No, this time, it is 10, 9. There you go. Also, so it not is too verse hard. 10, chapter 9? Nope, nope, nope. It is chapter 10, verse 9. Oh, there you go. Anyone who lives without blame walks safely, but anyone who takes a crooked path mm. will get caught. Ooh. God can help us live truthfully. When we do that, we can stay close to him. That is really good advice. Mm -hmm. That's a really good verse, too. Yeah, I the like it. The crooked path thing kind of freaks me out a little bit. It does. Yeah. But, you know. It does, yeah. Is, there, is it kind of like that double-edged sword thing, right? <laughs> I don't think it is like a double-edged sword. Do you know what it makes me think of, though? Is what does the, it make you think of, Rachel? It makes me think, well, oh, we're still going with this. Okay. Okay. Um, what it makes me <laughs> So what it makes me think of is that nursery rhyme. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. He ate da, 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 a crooked da, 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 da. something. He had a crooked um, smile. Like style. all of that. Like, yeah, everything, yeah. everything was crooked. crooked. Um, and so that, to me, makes it seem not so scary. But, you know, life can get warped and go take you down the wrong path. And if yes. you don't And if you use this yourself, month's life app, mm -hmm, exactly. integrity, you choose to be truthful in whatever you do. Yeah, and so, so that, you know, staying off the crooked path um, is, is uh, kind of staying away from the temptation well, because sometimes of Sometimes when you, when you read verses in the Bible, it's hard to understand exactly mm -hmm. what it means. Oh yeah, there's interpretation necessary, that's yes, for sure. Yes, very much so. Yeah. But you know what, Rachel? Hmm. Enough of that. Okay. What are okay. we doing next? It, well, I have got a great game. <gasps> I love games. I want to see how close you can get to the correct price. Ooh. I like to call it close, but no potato. <gasps> I love potatoes. <laughs> okay. So. Welcome, contestant. <gasps> Thank you, host. Um, okay. Here's how you play. Close, but no potato. I will give, I will reveal. Not, oh. I'm not going to give it to you. Oh. I'm sorry, Rage. Um, I will reveal items uh -huh. up here, yeah. okay? They will have little pieces of paper in front of them, which mm -hmm. tells the actual price. <gasps> Ooh, this you... sounds like a show I know. Yeah. I wonder what it's called. I don't know. Something the yeah. price is... Maybe I the don't... cost of it. The cost is correct. Maybe that's it. The cost is correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put these items up. We're going to move this lovely candle. Yeah, be careful. We don't want to burn anything. Oh, I know. The ambiance, too, is just yeah, beautiful. Yep. Okay, so we have got a used oh. bottle of Germ X Moisturizing Original Hand Sanitizer, uh, eight fluid ounces. Hmm. So we've got that. Okay. We have got this beautiful ruler. Oh, it's gold. Twelve inches, and on the back there is some artwork, Ooh. so you can put it, you know, I like either that. like this to use yeah. it or this to hang up in your house. Yeah. Ah, very so cool. Very cool. We've got that. And then our one last thing. We've got our handy dandy notebook here. Oh, just like that show. Yeah, what was it? Clues. No. And shoes, maybe? Yeah, something. Mm hmm Not red, but yeah. Green? Could be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Not that sure. could be it, yeah. Sure. Yeah. It could be like green news. Oh, oh I bet that's it. That yeah. could be it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put the prices down here, Rach. Okay. Do you want me to hear? I'll make sure I don't Oh, look. that would be great. Okie dokie. 
And I'm not peeking because okay. I have integrity. Oh, good job, Rach. Okay, contestants. Yes, host! I don't need to say number one because you are the only one. I know. Does so that mean I am number one? Contestant, you Ooh, are number one. Yay! You are. Okay. But that shouldn't be important to you, Rach. I'm sorry. Okay, have integrity. That was not very in have integrity. integrity -ish okay. of me. Which one? Would you like to guess the price first, oh, Rachel? I don't know. These are going to be hard. They um, are. Okay, I'm going to guess the ruler first. Okay. I am going to guess that it is a dollar twenty nine. A dollar twenty nine. Yeah. She said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the actual price is six dollars and twenty four cents. Oh, wow. Oh, so close. Yeah, so Rachel. close. Yeah. So yeah. close. Okay. Um, I mean, I I'm gonna go more generic for like for the Germex. And it is used. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that, I'm just gonna say like two dollars. Two dollars. Yeah. It yeah. is the pandemic, Rachel. But right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, seventeen dollars and ten cents for the used oh. bottle of hand sanitizer. Oh my. Ooh. Oh my is right. I wasn't quite as correct. That's okay. Um, Ooh, look at that this, nice handy dandy yeah. brand new notebook. This brand handy, new. Handy brand dandy spanky new. Notebook. Hmm. Well, if it's brand new. Yes. Huh. I'm gonna say four dollars and sixteen cents. Four dollars and sixteen cents. Yeah. 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 <gasps> Rachel, it was one cent. Oh. Rachel, wow. you did such a good job. Let's give her a hand. Oh my God. Nice guessing, Rachel. You, you were really close at getting closest to the price of those items. Sure, yeah. We'll find out why it's so important to be close in our Bible story. But first, let's draw a little closer to God as we sing and worship him together. So you guys, I need everyone to get up on your feet. It's my favorite time. We're going to sing our song. Let's get ready. Let's get our hearts ready to honor Jesus as we sing and dance. So every <gasps> breath, every beat, all of it is made for him. Let's give him everything we've got as we sing his praises. So last week, you guys, we sang our new song called Jesus, I Will Trust You. Mm -hmm. The more you live your days for Jesus, the more you'll be able to see how faithful he is. He is always there for you. When things are good and when things are tough, you can always choose to trust him. Let's think about someone you trust. Someone in your family or a good friend. Good friend. You know you can count on them to be there for you no matter what. Oh, my nose is itchy. The same is true of our relationship with God. David wrote in this Psalm 62, 8, chapter 62, verse 8. Good job, Rachel. Trust in him at all times, you people. Tell him all your troubles. God is our place of safety. So use this time of worship to connect your heart with God. Sing these words to him. Good job. You know, when you were reading that Psalm 62, yeah. and you said, trust in him at all times, you people, mm -hmm. I thought you were talking our people there for a second when you said you people like right. that. Right, but it's actually, it's actually in the verse. In the yep. Yeah, yeah, so cool. All okay. right, so you guys go ahead and rock out, and we'll see you soon.
everyone. You did so good in that music video. This month, we're talking about what it means to live with integrity. And remember, what's integrity again? Our monthly life app. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. That sounds really good, doesn't it? I mean, all of us want to live truthfully, but it's not always easy. In fact, sometimes things happen that take us by surprise. And we have to choose to respond in a way that helps us stay truthful. You see, you and I aren't perfect. Nobody's perfect. All of us have done things that are wrong. Sometimes it's an accident, and sometimes it's something that we did wrong on purpose. But here's the real question. What do we do when we've done something wrong? Well, I've got a story today that is about a boy named Harold. And um, there are three parts to the story. The mess up, the cover up, and the truth. So we're going to start with the mess up. After school one day, Harold was practicing karate in the house. Mom always asked him to practice outside or in the garage, but it was raining outside and it was super cold in the garage. Plus, Harold had a match later, so he wanted to get in some good practice. Well, his grandma recently had passed away and left his mom this really, really nice vase. It was all delicate white porcelain with a lace pattern in gold along the top edge. It was really pretty, and it was really expensive. I bet you can guess what happened. Harold was practicing inside, and he heard the garage door open, which meant that his mom was home. He was so startled and so panicked he knew that she would come in and see that he had been practicing in the house. She would know that he had disobeyed her. So when he heard the garage door open, he jumped and accidentally knocked the vase off the coffee table. Of course, the whole thing shattered. He felt terrible. It was like the whole world stopped moving as the vase slowly tumbled to the ground. His mom was going to be so mad. He figured he'd be grounded for at least a month or maybe even his whole life. Now the cover-up. He didn't have time to clean up the pieces, so he did the first thing that came to mind. He hid them. He tossed his jacket over the mess. You see, when we mess up, what's the first thing we usually think about? Oh no, I'm going to get in trouble. Or that person will never forgive me. We feel afraid. We feel ashamed. We want to hide what we did so that they'll never see it. We act like everything is okay. I'm sorry to say it, but that's what he did that day. He tried to cover it up. When his mom came in, she told him to pick his clothes up from the floor, but she didn't see the shattered vase that was under the jacket. Harold told her that he would clean up around the house and that he would even start a load of laundry. Of course, his mom was really happy about that, and she hadn't noticed that the vase was missing. Harold figured if she did notice, then he'd have to act like he didn't know anything about it, even if that really wasn't the truth. He tried to act on his best behavior the whole day. He said yes right away when she asked him to do something. He did his homework without complaining. He even went to bed on time. He was trying to hide what he had done wrong by doing all those other things to make up for it. But still, the vase was broken. No matter how hard Harold tried, the mess hadn't gone away. If anything, it was bigger. It was so big. Now the truth. Finally, Harold couldn't hide it any longer. His mom could see that something was really bothering him. And I'm sure she noticed that he'd act, been acting differently. Moms always know. So she took Harold out to dinner, just the two of them. She asked what was wrong. Then the whole thing just spilled out. There I was, crying into my pizza, telling her about the vase that he had broke. 
He told her what really happened. The vase didn't just fall on its own. It was Harold's fault since he had been practicing karate in the house. She was sad that the vase was broken, but she didn't yell at Harold or ground him for the rest of his life. She told Harold that he shouldn't be afraid to ever tell her the truth. She was more hurt by him not talking to her and acting so differently than she was about the broken vase. He said he was sorry for practicing in the house, and she forgave him. Here's the really great news. It's like that with God, too. When we mess up, we don't have to be afraid to tell him what we've done wrong. I mean, he's God. He already knows. He wants us to talk to him about everything, even when we mess up. We don't have to try and hide it. Here's how I know that for sure. Listen to these words from the book of 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. Did you hear that? He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. Even when we mess up, we can tell him the truth because we know he loves us. He will always forgive us. Unfortunately, messing up is part of life. But we can live with integrity when we own up to our mistakes and choose to tell the truth. God will forgive us and make us pure. Rachel, that was such a good, I don't know. Well, I think it was a good story, a good lesson. I like, I really liked um, how we had the paint that went along with the whole story mm -hmm. instead of just talking about the story, Yeah, you know, and then how it, like you kind of messed it up or it went splat mm -hmm. on the vase when it broke. I like yep. that a lot. Yeah. I like, I like that at the end. Even though there was still, um, it, it still was uh, kind of color. Messy. It was still a little messy, but it turned into this really pretty color um, with a cross. And that no matter what, no matter how messy our lives get. Which they'll always be messy. They'll always be messy, no matter what we have going on. Yep. Um, Jesus is there. God forgives us. He's and, there in the storm. He's there in helps, the mess. And helps to clean, clean everything. And even though there's still going to be like remnants of that mess. Right. It's still beautiful, and we are still, we're still there, and he's still a part of our story. That is very true. So remember our bottom line, being truthful with God keeps you close to him. You can always tell the truth to God. You can be yourself with him. He will always love you and forgive you. Being truthful with him is what keeps our hearts and our minds close to him. Let's talk to God and thank him for being so good to us. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, fold our hands. Dear God, we want to live with integrity. We want to be truthful with our words and actions so we can stay close to you. Please help us live that way every day. When we mess up, please give us the courage to be truthful with you and with the people around us. Thank you for loving us and always forgiving us. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. All God's people say, amen. Amen. So, Rachel, it's so great to know that God will forgive us when we ask him the basic truth. We can trust him no matter what. Wait, that sounds really familiar. You know what, Rachel? I think that was the basic truth from last week, and we have been saying that the whole entire Oh my goodness. Episode here. Oh man. Okay. Because well, actually the basic truth for this week is make the wise choice. That's exactly right. Okay, so that makes that makes more sense. More sense to go along with the story yeah, of Harold. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's we know we trust God, but right. we need to be honest and make the yep. wise choice. So that yeah, that makes more sense. Sorry guys, we yep. messed that up. Yes. So God showed us how much he loved us when he sent his son, Jesus. Jesus made a way for us to stay close to God, even when we mess up, Rachel. Mm -hmm. When Jesus died on the cross, he took the ultimate consequence for all the things we do wrong. We never have to worry about our sin getting in the way between us and God because Jesus paid the price for that sin. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, just like we just did, we all mess up from time to time. Oh my gosh, yes. But you can talk to God about it instead of trying to hide it. Tell him that you're sorry and ask him to forgive you. 
Remember, he loves you and he will always be there for you. He just wants you to talk with him like you and I are talking yeah. right now. Yeah. Because people will, you know, sometimes come up to me and say, but I don't know the words to say in a prayer or I don't know. Just say what's in your heart. Mm -hmm. Even if you feel like it doesn't sound right, God's still listening. Oh, yeah. And God is already there when you're going through the whole dilemma of, oh, yep. how, should I say this? Should I say that? Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. Maybe you have trouble with telling the truth, especially when you know you could get in trouble. Or maybe you're tempted to sneak candy when your parents aren't looking. Maybe you've had a mean thought about a friend or you called your brother or sister a name. You can talk to God about any of these things. You can ask him to forgive you and you can ask him to help you. The right basic truth is make the wise choice next time. Mm -hmm. So just remember our bottom line, being truthful with God keeps you close to him. Yeah. Okay, guys, I emailed your families the discussion questions so i want you to go ahead and go over those and we are done with week two so we will see you next week bye, bye. guys oh rachel that was a really good painting it was a really good lesson we did i love the imagery me too me so too. that was totally awesome but you it's guys you know what we forgot to do we forgot to wish you a happy halloween because on saturday is all hallows eve and what is so crazy is that if you dress safe enough this is the season that if you wear a mask right you could get candy totes 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 my goats yo so we were trying to think of a way to give you guys candy but we we haven't come up with a a safe way to do that no not a surefire way that no. we don't have to worry about we don't want you guys to drive by and i just throw them at you with gloves on i know that would be fun but we don't want to injure anybody or no you know and then i then we thought we could tape windows. them to the door but then if other people take them and then we, we don't know so i guess we're just going to have to wait and this halloween we're not going to be able to do it rachel it looks like you're dressed up as a gift for maybe someone's birthday um, no, I, Christmas. Christmas. Your what? Christmas gift. See? Red, green. I guess yeah. it could be for Christmas. Yeah. But I don't know. I, um, I like it. The bells are a little loud in my ears, but otherwise it's real fun. So not Thanksgiving present? No, no not Thanksgiving present. I mean, I, I like Thanksgiving, but to me a Thanksgiving present would be homemade pie. Homemade not pie. like a box. You'd be gift. dressed like a. No, yes. I wouldn't. I would just bring a homemade pecan pie. pie. Pecan, pecan pie. Pecan pie. See, I always say pecan, but I know in, it's a like southern, very southern right. to say pecan pie. Pecan. Mm. I don't like pumpkin pie. I'm one of those weirdos. You don't like pumpkin I pie. Don't. My husband doesn't like the pumpkin pie either. The texture for me is what I don't like. I, I love like that's pumpkin the part everything I like. else. Oh, see, and I don't. No. I don't so much like pumpkin muffins, oh. but I do. You know, and there is a recipe that we make with just pumpkin. It's in a sheet pan. Mm -hmm. Our dessert one bars. I jelly don't know. roll pan? Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, never made a jelly roll. But I yes, have, that, have you? Yeah, we used to make them all the time. My grandpa loved them. They were his favorite. I and love so, jelly rolls. So we made them with homemade jelly. Oh. Always with homemade. Yep. See, yep. and the one that, that um, I've had before was pumpkin yeah, rolled with out cream and then cream cheese. cheese inside there. Yep. Yeah. But, um, so just like a jelly roll. On the jelly roll pan, you just put the pumpkin in there. Yep. And then you wait for it to cool and you cut it out and there's no crust. It's Interesting. just pumpkin. Interesting. But it is really good. I know it sounds kind of weird now yeah. that I'm explaining it. Is it like a crustless pie then, kind of? Like it's like the filling? Rachel, that is exactly what it is. Oh, cool. I like good it. Good job. Very cool. good job. See, so, I'm, I'm weird because my favorite part of pumpkin anything is the combination of the pumpkin bars or cookies or muffins with cream cheese frosting. Cream cheese is the best. I it love really cream cheese frosting. It oh, my gosh. It's really good. In fact, at one point, um, my mom made uh, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin bars. Okay. And um, she knew that at that point I, I wasn't a huge fan of the bars. Wasn't so, a huge fan of the bars. No, no, but I loved the frosting. So do you know what she did? For my birthday, she brought just a little bit of the frosting in a container for me. Because she knew that I didn't really like the bars. Rachel I love them Faye. now. But when I was younger, I was like, meh, no, That's, not really my Isn't it weird how things that you did not like? My sister used to not like dressing or stuffing mm -hmm. until I explained to her, do you like bread? Do you like celery? It's right. bread, celery, butter, onion, right. spices. That's yep. it. Then she See, tried it and she goes, oh, it's pretty good. I used to think the same way when it came to uh, bread pudding or rice pudding. Oh. I was like, that sounds so gross. It and really, then 
And then I realized I'd been eating my own form of bread pudding like most of my life because right. when we would make rice, my mom would then like leftovers afterwards. Yep. We'd have just rice, cream and sugar and raisins and some cinnamon. And that's yum, it. That's yum. basically rice pudding. I had no idea that that's what I was like. It was a fake out, right. you know, super right. quick version, but I had no idea. No, that's really good. Right? The things that were so weird to me, like when I was a kid, mince meat pie. I know that sounds and I so think, weird. So are you taking meat and mincing or dicing right. it up mm -hmm. and then putting it in? Yeah. I didn't understand. Didn't understand that it basically was like, oh, how about a pot pie? That sounds good. Yes. But mince meat pie sounds no, terrible, no, doesn't no, it? No, no, no. Yeah. It's like but we fruit, like pot pie. Fruit cake is kind of weird too. It is weird. But the, so. honestly, the right way is delicious. So. Hey, on that note, happy Halloween, you guys. Yes, happy Halloween. Do you know what I am, Rach? Uh, I guess I, 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 medical dum, dum, professional. Dum, 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 dum. Oh. Stat. Spat? Stat. Oh, I thought like you said spat. spat. No. <laughs> No, stat. <laughs> so a doctor. I am a doctor. Oh, and you even got the mask and the wig or the I know, and this is actually, this goes with it. It's it not does. like a pandemic mask. No, it's, it's like legit, a, like yeah. a doctor's, a, what exactly, they would actually wear. That's exactly right. I These bells don't want to stay. Next time I wear this, I'm going to have to like wrap them so that they don't keep moving because they don't want to stay on my glasses. I see that. So they the next time moving. you wear them? Yeah, you know, for fun. Okay. So, um... <laughs> What we are trying to say is, happy Halloween. Be safe. Trick or treat, whether you go out or you don't go out. Have an enjoyable time with your family. Have a, have a happy holiday, right? Yes. We love you. We miss you. Stay safe, everyone. Bye, guys.